Bundy's Garage. Bundy here. Hey, today we're working on a Toyota V8 2UZ FE engine. This will be in your um, Tundras, your Sequoias, your Land Cruisers, your Toyota 4Runners to have the V8 engine. That'd be an awesome little 4Runner, you know, with a V8 2UZ four-wheel drive. That would be a little tank that could go anywhere. Uh, your Lexus LX 470s and your Lexus GX 470s. So right here, working on the, um, this is this is the sprocket that your timing belt goes around on the front of the crankshaft. The reason you have to pull this thing out, the reason I pull it out is the front uh, main oil seal was actually leaking. What sits there in the front is your oil pump. And then there's a seal that goes around the crankshaft that keeps oil obviously from coming out. After a while, you know, this vehicle had 270,000 miles on it didn't know when the last time it was changed so went ahead and changed that seal out uh, one trick to getting it in uh, you can actually put them in the freezer uh, overnight let them shrink down a little bit um, and then I'll, that'll make it a little bit easier to install them but I wanted to show you guys how to get the the sprocket off okay I'll put a link down in the description below where I get the crankshaft pulley off the bolt and the pulley but sometimes the sprocket is on there not I don't want to say seized on there but Obviously rust can form on the crankshaft and when rust gets in there, it makes it pretty, pretty difficult to remove by hand. So the sprocket actually has two holes that you can put bolts in and you can actually pull it off with a, um, a puller. Bolts that you need are M6 by 1.0 by 90. Okay. That's what I got. M6 by 1.0 by 90. Okay. They're metric. And then you get the two bolts and you put them through the puller and you're able to actually um, just crank it out and get it off. Uh, to get it back on, I was able to get it back on by hand. What I had to do, I actually took um, some sandpaper. I think it was 60 grit, 80 grit. Took the sandpaper and I went on the inside of the sprocket where the rust was and I just um, lightly sanded all that rust away, put a little bit of grease on there and then the grease on the crankshaft and I was able to slide it back on. There's only one way it'll go on because there's a keyway there. Um, so you can only put the sprocket on one way. You can only you can only put the crankshaft pulley back on one way as well. But uh, I saw a guy um, use a pry bar actually to get it off, to get the sprocket off. And I was just waiting for him to, to crack the oil pump that sits behind it. So don't use pry bars. Take it out the right way. I'll let this play out so you guys can see all the exciting and fascinating things that happens when you get this thing off. I'm actually kidding. Nothing happens when you get it off. But I'm just showing you guys how to get it off properly. All right. There you go, guys. Hope this has helped you save money. If you can, please subscribe to Bunny's Garage. I know a lot of you guys, a lot of my subscribers don't watch my channel, but a lot of new people do. So if you can subscribe, it really helps me and my family out. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.